Hi guys, it's Danny from Art Bar Marlene's promo team for 2020. Today I've got a double spread art journal page. This was inspired by the artist Megan Wiesner Quinlan that I um, saw about a month or so ago on her Instagram and I'll link her page um, in the descriptions below. So I've just gessoed the back of this rice paper. This is BM11. Um, that was so that the rice paper wouldn't be so translucent when I glue them down. I want them to be a little bit more like collage pieces. So I've activated the watercolours. These are Art by Marlene's Bright and Bold and Bright and Whimsical and Bright. And I'm just basically being a little bit flippant with the paint and just popping them down loosely, getting bright, colourful little quirky houses painted down. So I'm just enjoying the process. So now I'm just using the Caran d'Ache pencils and I'm just going over my watercolored areas just highlighting and brightening up some of the painted areas with the watercolours. This is a fun way of just brightening up what you've already painted. And I'm just going over with some Posca pens, doing a little bit of doodling and um, cleaning up some of the windows and things that I might have splashed a bit of paint on. Colouring in the apples in the trees and just adding my little extra bits. So I'm using the Art by Marlene texture uh, exclusive texture stamps here and I've just used a couple of archival colours in similar colours that I've already painted in and I'm just stamping some of these over the houses just to add a little bit more quirkiness and a little bit more of interest on the brickwork and it's just something fun so I'm just using the script stamp there with a bit of black archival and then again, just going over with Poscas. So I'm grabbing a couple of sheets of watercolour paper out of my large art journal. I'm going to mask those together so that I can just paint it as one piece. So I've just used a bit of masking tape on the back of the page and then I can take that off afterwards when I put it back into my journal. So I'm just creating a bit of a landscape here. I'm just going to make some rolling hills. And I'm using some acrylic paint, I'm using two shades of green here to just paint in those hills. Um, the two shades will make them less flat, just give it a little bit of depth. And then again, just filling in the sky, I'm going to use two different shades of blue here as well. And I've actually gone over the hills with a little bit of a blue glaze, just to incorporate the two colors. So in the background there, you can see that I've stenciled. I've actually used the Art by Marlene stencils there and I'll list them in below the description line and I'm now just fussy cutting out the little houses so with the gesso on the back they're actually a little bit stiffer and a lot easier to cut out and I'm just basically auditioning these pieces now before I glue them down working out where I want to pop my little houses and once I'm ready I'm using some matte medium to glue those down in position so giving them a good layer on the back and then over the top as well and that really seals them to the page so that they won't lift so just putting down all the little elements the little trees and the stars um, getting a little signpost down and once that's all done I'll make sure that it's all dry before going back over with some more pencil work and pens. So I've got my Poscas out here and I'm just going to create a border. 
So I'm just doing sort of a scratchy line border and I'm going to fill them in with the black and white checks. Just kind of works with the whole overall look of the page that I'm going for at the moment. So that real whimsical sort of look. So just doodling those in. It's a great easy border and it gives quite a great effect for your page. And now I'm just going over my hills and creating um, more of a thicker line so that you can see where the hills are starting. I'm going to write script throughout the hills there. I have a quote that I found. Home should be an anchor, a port in a storm, a refuge, a happy place in which to dwell, a place where we are loved and where we can love. And so basically I've written that script down with my grey lead and I'm just going back over with my Posca pen and thickening up the letters. I'm by no means an expert in hand lettering but this is a way that I practice and it seems to work. Although I, I do make a few blunders on this page which you'll see in a minute. Um, but that's half the fun. So I'm just basically trying to make my rather large quote fit and here I actually run out of space as you'll see so I just go back over with a baby wipe and try and lift as much of that Posca pen off as possible and then I can paint straight over the top so I'll just have to extend my hill and change its positions basically but it all works out in the end. So I've just painted straight over the top and I'll add an extra bit of green in there just to make it blend. And by the time I get my word back over the top, you won't even notice that there's a blunder there. So again, just writing out my quote in pencil, making sure that I can get it all to fit across the page. And then I can go back over with the Posca pen. I've actually got a spelling mistake in this word here. I've written refu refuge instead of refuge. Um, and I don't realise that until I finish my page. So um, I go back and fix that after I finish the page. So I'm just using the towel here so I don't um, mess the wet paint areas with the white Posca pen because I'm layering the paint down quite thickly on the letters. Um, I've just popped that towel there so I don't smudge it basically. And again, just filling in the gaps, highlighting around the houses, making the, um, the little drawn lines a little bit thicker just so that the houses pop from the writing so they don't get lost or sink into the background. I want them to be in the forefront of my page still because it is all about home and how we feel safe. And I think with what's been happening in the world around us of late, um, this quote really resonated with me and um, worked out to be quite a healing process. And you can see here I've written the word a place where and I was really running out of room there but I've sort of made my letters a little bit smaller and I was able to fit the quote in and it sort of went with the quirky, quirkiness of the page. I've gone back over with a white Posca pen and highlighted my lettering as well and now I'm just using um, the printed rice papers in the black and white and I'm just cutting out little elements making some clouds for my page and again just auditioning them on the page before I glue those down make sure that they work where I need them to. Once I'm happy with that I can glue those down as well. And I'm just going over my black lines here and just doing some little dot patterns. highlighting the areas again. And 
and now I'm just adding a little bit of Marathi to the what's the end of my page basically just um, highlighting the stars and the clouds making them all part of the page by going back over with some Posca pens and doodling over the top of them so that they feel like they're all part of the page. And that's basically it. Just doing a little bit more doodling in the background and just finishing it off with a little little bits of doodling and highlights. I hope you enjoyed the process. I surely did. It was quite a healing page for me. And please, if you like the page, leave me a comment, tell me what you think. And please check out Megan's work. I'll leave her link for her Instagram page. Thanks for watching guys. Talk to you soon.